Okay, so today I'm going to be doing the anything but books tag and I'm gonna be doing it while I cut my hair for no good reason other than that I needed a haircut. So hey, why not in a video? So I have no uh, good, I have no qualifications to cut my hair in case you are wondering. <laughs> when 2020 hit and the hairdressers closed down, I needed a haircut. I started experimenting. I've cut my hair twice now. You guys are gonna hang out with me in the third time. So far, every time I've cut my hair, I have botched it in one way or another. You can even see when it's straight that these layers are pretty blunt. Uh, I, I don't recommend cutting your own hair with no idea what you're doing, but I do because I'm really not fussy about my hair and I curl it anyway. So when I, when I make big mistakes, you know, the curls hide it. So don't do what I'm doing, but enjoy watching me more than likely botch my hair for the third time and then cover it up with curls. Okay, the first question is name a cartoon. Does it say cartoon character or cartoon? Cartoon that you love. I guess that's pretty simple. Uh, I love Avatar, The Last Airbender. I have a lot of videos on Avatar. If you want to check that out, there's a whole playlist of it. Uh, the next question is, what is your favorite song right now? And man, Okay, the question is right now, right? So not of all time. It's not asking my favorite bands. It's specifically asking my favorite song right this moment. So I guess uh, I should talk about NSP because that's the band that I've been listening to so much lately. And I would say that probably my favorite song by them lately uh, is probably First Date. <laughs> I don't know, it's hard to pick a favorite song. Uh, but yeah, I would say probably, as, as far as like the song that I've been listening to the most or the band, I don't even know if this is in frame, the band that I've been listening to the most lately uh, is NSP and First Date is probably right now my favorite of theirs. Man, I do not know how to cut my hair for the camera, do I? Question number three is what could you do for hours that isn't reading? How am I supposed to do this? I don't even remember how I did it last time. I am really into certain video games. I wouldn't call myself a gamer by any means, but there are certain video games that I love. I could play a lot. I grew up on games like Streets of Rage and anything Mario. And then upgraded to games like uh, Assassin's Creed, Soul Calibur, stuff like that. And lately, as far as games that I've been playing the most recently, lately I've been playing games like uh, Doki Doki Literature Club and Danganronpa, which you have maybe seen me mention in other videos. Popping back in a couple days later because I'm editing the video and I, I realized that I keep doing this. I keep saying I'm playing Danganronpa, but I'm not. I'm, I'm watching a playthrough of it from the Game Grumps, which I love their gaming channel. I also love Let's Game It Out if you want to check out some gaming channels. Um, but anyway, I've been watching uh, Game Grumps Danganronpa playthrough, so I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not actually playing that one. But the next game that I'm about to mention later in this video, or about to mention after this clip, I am physically playing that game myself. Also shout out to my friend Matt who has introduced me to almost every one of my hobbies and interests except ironically reading, which he hates. I'm also recently into Ark Evolution, what is it? Survival Evolved? I've only recently downloaded that game and there is quite the learning curve for it, but uh, I'm enjoying it a lot. Ooh, I missed a piece. Eh, probably about like that will be good. Thankfully, I have a friend that uh, plays Ark and who got me into this game, so I've been asking him a lot of questions because if you don't know, Ark doesn't come with any kind of tutorial or instructions or anything <laughs> to help you out. You just are thrown on an island filled with dinosaurs and uh, good luck with it. Everything's trying to kill you. You're, you need to survive. And, uh, and, and that's, that's, that's what you get when you start that game. But I love it, despite there being a massive learning curve and despite me having no idea what I'm doing still, uh, I'm having so much fun with it. Next question is, what is something that you love to do that your subscribers would be surprised by? I guess, I mean, are you, sub are you surprised that I enjoy gaming? Are you surprised that I love D&D? &D? I don't know what you're surprised by. 
All right, all right. This isn't, this isn't the worst thing that's ever happened. Probably this lighting changing is the worst thing that's ever happened. But the hair is not, I'm not regretting too many life choices just yet. But I feel like I've talked about games and I've talked about D&D &D on my channel before. So I don't, I don't know that there's any secrets that I've been holding back that would shock you guys. Maybe you're surprised that I sloppily and messily cut my own hair. Especially since I don't even need to cut my own hair anymore. There's no reason for me to still do this to myself other than I'm mildly pleased with the results. I don't hate it. So now I just don't go to the hairdresser. How'd that turn out? Hmm, about as bad as usual, but not so bad that I'll probably quit cutting my own hair. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do the other side. Question number five is what is your favorite unnecessarily specific thing that you like to learn about? I'm not sure what unnecessarily specific means, uh, but I like to learn. Oh, I just realized maybe the fact that I, oh wait, should I be going in this direction? I just remembered that I, I uh, grew up rock climbing and I don't climb anymore because I don't have a climbing buddy anymore, but I still love it so much. But that's another thing that I've talked about on my channel. And if I had a climbing buddy, I would absolutely be climbing again. But I've talked about that too, so I don't, I don't know that that would surprise you. Anyway, something unnecessarily specific that I enjoy researching. Lately, I have been researching a lot about um, healthy foods. My son is a crazy picky eater. He has uh, switched over into the stage away from, I'll put whatever my mom puts in front of me, I'll eat whatever my mom puts in front of me, and into the stage of, I like fruit and chips. That's the end of what I like. So I've been looking up a lot of ways uh, to convince him not to be so picky, which has not been successful yet, because a lot of picky eater guide videos and articles talk about hiding vegetables in other foods. But the problem is that my son doesn't like other foods. He likes fruit. He likes strawberries and bananas and oranges. And that's great. And I'm thrilled that he likes those things, but I need him to eat other things too. So I've been looking up a lot of uh, recipes, different ideas for trying to help my son to eat more balanced and uh, recipes for us as well, because I'm trying to get us to eat a little bit more balanced as well. Eh, that's not the end of the world. It's not the worst cut I've ever had, but I'm also looking in a tiny viewfinder, so maybe it's horrible. What is something unusual that you know how to do? I don't, I don't know. Do I know how to do anything that's unusual? I know how to YouTube, everybody YouTubes, that's not impressive. I'm not sure if I have any unusual knowledge or unusual talents. Maybe I'll think of something later and insert it here, but I got nothing for that one. Name something you made in the last year and show us if you can. Sure, uh, okay, oh, dead gum. Drop that hair, hang on. So I am not artistic. I wanna make that very clear. I can't draw, I can't paint, I can't art. Uh, so as long as we all go into this image that I'm about to put up with the knowledge that Murphy can't draw and she knows it, <laughs> then I'll show you a little comic that I did recently. Uh, I'm, I, you know what? I like cats. I like dogs, but I'm definitely a cat person if I'm left up to the choice. And I love cats attitude. I love, I, I love pretty much everything about cats. So I made this comic illustrating one thing that my mom's dogs do when they want attention and my cat does when he wants attention. And I felt like it illustrated why I love cats so much very, very well. An actual artist could do it better, but I did it. So you're welcome and I'm sorry. What is your most recent personal project? Well, my most recent personal project is book related. I am working on a new series for my channel that I think would be really, 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 really interesting. Oh, white balance is about to shift again. Sorry about that. Um, but it is going to take some collaboration with, um, I don't know how much I wanna say before I even know if I can actually do the thing. So I guess, I don't know how, I don't know how to share this. My most recent personal project so far has just gone 
has most, has, so far has pretty much just been brainstorming and then emailing, trying to make the thing that I'm wanting to do possible, which has been a bit of a challenge, uh, but I really, really hope that I can do it because I think it's something that I know I'll love doing and it's something that I think that you guys will love too, but I hate to share it prematurely and then not follow through with it. So my most recent personal project that I can tell you about, um, I started preschool with my kid. Uh, I, I'm doing an at-home preschool program, been doing some research, oh, been doing some research in regards to that and we've, we've been doing some you know, simple things at home to kind of prepare him because he's super scared of the idea of school. And he's going to school in fall. So we've just been doing some at home learning, calling it school, making it fun and exciting and not scary. Uh, so I guess that's been my most recent personal project. Tell us something that you think about often. Uh, adoption, probably. <laughs> I mean, all those things that I already mentioned, I definitely think about all the time but we are at the very end of our adoption, which I've also talked about a lot on this channel, so that's not surprising. Um, but we're at the very end, we've been placed with a child, and uh, we have, we're just, we, it's just the paperwork, gum. it's just the paperwork. There's so much involved with adoption. Like, um, in the beginning, we all had to get medical checks, we had to get a financial check, we had to, Corey and I had to go to a therapist to make sure that like we're mentally stable and sound and able to uh, take care of a child, bring a child into our home. We had to do a bunch of adoption courses online about like typical struggles that adopted children have. We're adopting a toddler, so you know, um, th there's, there's, extra stuff involved in that. We had to meet with a medical professional because our daughter has a, um, a rare condition, so we had to meet with him to learn about her needs and make sure that we could meet her needs. Um, and like just, there's, there was, there's so much, there's so much. Now that all of that is done, we're just waiting on the government to go through all the papers and approve it and set up court dates, and then we can finally, finally, finally meet our daughter. So uh, getting all that sorted and done and approved, doing research upon research upon research, so I guess that's something specific that I have been researching. Um, all these things are constantly on my mind. We're at the very end of the adoption and I'm just, I'm just, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready to finally bring her home. Um, so I don't know, there will be an adoption update soon once we actually have that end date, but that is what I think about all the time. Give us something that is your favorite. Wait, something what that's my favorite? My family is my favorite. My family is always my favorite. My family will always be my favorite thing in this world. The thing that no matter what is going on in the world, no matter what is happening in the world, no matter what struggles I have in life, my family is always going to be the thing that still makes my life good. Corey just came in and fixed the white balance again. He's stressed about how poor quality <laughs> the lighting is gonna be in this video. Oh, I'm sorry, the exposure. All right, I just shook my hair out to loosen up the curls a little bit and I'm doing all this in a viewfinder, so it's not going great, uh, but that's okay, whatever. Anyway, the last question in this, uh, in this tag is, Say the first thing that that pops into your head. Uh, it, YouTube, I, what, 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 this question. Anyway, I don't know how interesting this was for you because um, I feel like my voice was pretty monotone throughout the whole thing because I was focused on the hair stuff. I did just go look at my hair in the mirror um, because I was shaking my hair out and checking to see if there were any other spots that I needed to curl. And it's not its not the best haircut I've ever given myself. I think I kind of botched this middle part right here and cut it a little bit shorter than I needed to. But, you know, like I said, the curls hide it pretty well. So I'm not too bothered. Eventually I'll actually be good at this. Eventually I'll actually figure out how to cut my hair well and it'll look good. But I decided for some reason not to wait until I have that experience and knowledge. 
and I'm, I decided to show you me cutting my hair when I'm still really bad at it. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it didn't give you a panic attack. Anyway, that was the anything but books tag while I cut and curled my hair. I hope you enjoyed yourself. As I said before, I really don't recommend you doing this unless you're just really not fussed about what your hair looks like, like me. I'd love to continue chatting with you about this in the comments. I post videos every Tuesday and Friday. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.